Hey, it's Tom with MotorHard.com. Let's do some math. All right. One of the one of the things that small business owners tend to struggle with the most is knowing their numbers. They're afraid of the math. They do a great job producing whatever service or product they do, but then when it comes to the numbers, they get all freaked out. So check this out. Let's pretend you build decks. All right, and you got a guy who makes fifteen dollars an hour, and he takes one hundred hours to build that deck. All right, that's fifteen. $100. Let's say material for your deck was $500. Okay? You got 500 bucks. Say it was $100 for a permit. All right? $100. These numbers here, 15, 500, and 100, amount to $2,100. Dakota, you got that? Uh -huh. Dakota's my film man. All right. So check this out. This $2,100 in this case is what you get to pay as the business owner to produce the job. All right, now we didn't talk about taxes on your labor, but that's all in there too, all right? So, $2,100 is what's called your cost of goods sold or your direct costs to produce the job. It's important to know what it costs you to produce your widget, your service, your product, whatever it is. If you know these costs, then we can work in making sure that you're charging enough for your services that you're running a profitable company that's not keeping you up at night worrying about how you're going to pay the bills. All right, so that's lesson number one. Next time we get together, we're going to talk about gross profit. This is what direct costs are, or cost of goods sold. Everything that it costs you as the business owner to produce your service or product, you get the privilege of paying that amount. Have a great day in Motorheart.